scripture, including the truth shall make you free. John 8, verse 32. The Supreme Court has a carving showing Moses holding the tablets. Deuteronomy 5, verse 22. The Library of Congress is decorated with many references to the Bible. There is a statue of St. Paul and a quotation from Micah 6, verse 8. What doth the Lord require of thee but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God? There is also an inscription in Hebrew which reads, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Leviticus 19, verse 18. Let's check out the Capitol building. God with us, Isaiah 7, verse 14. And a copy of the New Testament can be seen in this painting of the early settlers. building houses the Congressional Prayer Room. The inscription reads, Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. Psalm 16, verse 1. find a reference from Psalm 145, verses 17 through 19. Indeed, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just, that his justice cannot sleep forever. The Holocaust Memorial Museum is home to this poignant verse. You are my witnesses from Isaiah 43, verse 10. At the Martin Luther King Memorial, we find a quotation from Amos 5, verse 24, where justice runs down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. The Confederate monument in Arlington National Cemetery includes the words of Isaiah 2, verse 4. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. At this cemetery, to Major Butts, the inscription reads, Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. John 15, verse 13. In this Gettysburg Address, President Lincoln drew inspiration from the Bible. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Laos Deo, or praise be to God is carved into the very tip of the Washington Monument. Now, you can search for the Bible while touring our capital city. You'll be amazed at what you can find. 